Hey, get away. Get away from my camera. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of birds around. Go chase yourself a bird, a bird somewhere. Mm, okay. There you go. Okay. Sorry, I got I got distracted. As you can tell, I don't do take one, take two. Just do it. Don't like it. That's the way it is. Okay. So uh, I'll be heading for the capital today. It's uh, it's nice to get get out. It's beautiful here. But every time I go to, into an area, there's always something that comes up. Uh, Officer Square, uh, the trees all being cut down. That's, that's just politics. That's like the GST. Well, we're going to put the GST up to 15%. Everybody's all upset. And next thing you know, they put it down, whatever, 8 or whatever it was. And then so it is. And then next thing you know... Whew, thank God. Same as uh, Officer Square. Well, we're going to cut all the trees down, and then Consul's going to say, okay, we're, we're going to save five. We're only going to cut five, and people are going to say, thank God, and give a standing ovation to the idiot mayor. But there's a lot of issues, and uh, that was one of them. But the main one is that Native, uh, the guy that they call nickname Shooter, native guy from Burnt Church that was a spell that no he wasn't a spell he was bullied and uh, the guy that bullied him was a spell and the guy that bullied him made cartoons on him that he was uh, he was gonna go on a shooting a school shooting in Miramichi the cops arrested him, kept him all overnight, that's the, the native guy. <coughs> they call him anyway, Tex Dex or something. Anyway, so no apology from Miramichi High School or the police. So when there's no apology, when there's nothing, that means they did wrong. It's just like that uh, Brady. Now, the family that's being accused are running him over their name we're not going to mention it here but if it wasn't true that family would have held a huge news conference immediately and condemn the people that accused them of running over Brady Francis but nothing so when you get nothing that means they're guilty it's just like me 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 for 15 seconds Cops raided my place, accused me of exploiting children for sex, went through half a million pictures, nothing, idiots, and uh, now I asked for an apology, they didn't want to apologize, so I got to go to court, and then it, this goes on for years and years and years and years, because I'm Scottish, I don't know how to let go. So going back to the native guy, now Bert Church has seen his many, a lot of the ups down ups down in burnt church especially when it comes to the drug issue and they fishery started there the fight 1999 so but it's a beautiful spot right on the coast but burnt church wants to show our youth that education is very important now this guy now i'm not sure i'm gonna find out more I wonder if it's like the Fredericton Police Force. They have a police officer in every school. They have a computer. If a kid, like the, the native guy, his name is Shooter, that they put on the computer. And in, fu in future, in the future, the man will, it'll be impossible for him to land a job or get anything, even a job as a security guy. So what I did, I emailed last night the minister, Brian Kenny, which I, uh, I don't expect to hear nothing, but that's good. That's good. If we don't hear nothing, that means Brian Kenny supports this. That Liberal Party supports that if, 
natives are being bullied in school, especially Miramichi High School, and you fight back that you you will be accused to be a shooter and the police will come after you because he's Indian. If he was white or the son of a high profile person, that would have never happened. That's racism. People say, well, no, hey, Charles, uh, you know, we have to control uh, these people. Anyway, that's the, the only reason that we talk to these people is because of the Donnie Marshall uh, episode, the fisheries, and the woods, because the court said you talk to them. So when it comes to fisheries and timber, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk. But when it comes to the youths in the school, the courts never said you have to talk to the natives. And this is the problem we're having. I had a comment that a woman was beat up, a white uh, native woman from Burnt Church, beat up in Miramichi High School. So I guess what I'm going to do is go on. And I'm going to front it then, but I'm going to question the politician because I'm not getting no answers. So if I'm not getting no answers, that means racism is very much alive in the Miramichi High School and the Miramichi Police Force. So if I was, uh, it was nice of Sean Paul to uh, ask, you know, he, he, he went public. A lot of natives won't go public because they're afraid that nobody will listen to them. So, and the media... What is the media going to do? See, this is the problem. That should do a part two. Ah, oh, what the hell? You want to listen, listen. You don't want to listen, click. The media only goes after stories if the rest of the media agrees. That's the problem we're having here. Uh, they say, oh, that's an issue. Uh, there's a rat that got run over by a car. I think that's a good idea. All the rest of the media follows. Now, they reuse, we lost a lot of good people in media. In media now, I, myself, I went against Radio Canada. I said, Radio Canada, c'est la main. I made it known uh, four years ago. Radio Canada, Michel Corriveau. I don't want to talk to them. They, wanted, they said David Kuhn's French wasn't good enough to be in, in the debate. I said, Moody Québécois. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah. They, my blog was shut down. And they let Wayne Talon from the city say, oh, Monsieur Leblanc accused police officers to be pedophiles. But they never, never, after I showed them the paper, talk about them raiding my place and accusing me to be of exploiting children for sex. So what I do, can I do? La main. So uh, one media said, no, we're not going to. Like I said, when I was attacked by the legislator, a report won't mention his name. Don't talk to him anymore, any, anymore anyway. Uh, he was, he was filming, he filmed the whole thing. Two cops grabbing me, grabbing a blogger, an out, outspoken activist, and a journalist by the legislator, and the media, quiet. Media, again, a uh, woman, especially native girls, forced to walk from Miramichi jail to Fredericton. Local media, nothing. The Irving media, nothing. So, this thing here, the Miramichi Irving paper, uh, I'm sure they're pretty bored there. Matter of fact, I remember it was a big joke. That principal that was accused of, uh, of uh, exploiting kids on the internet. Remember that? And uh, they raided his place. His place was right beside the office of the Fredericton, of the Miramichi Irving paper. So they didn't have to go far for a story. So maybe the Irvings or 99 point whatever FM, Sun, what do they call it again? Maybe somebody should really dig and find out the true stories because the true story, because there's 20 sides to every story. Media is not going to do their job. Do we have to do this on social media? I contact, I can't call the Miramichi police. They'll say, well, under the Privacy Act, we can't say anything. The high school, they'll hang up on me so fast. The privacy of our children is very important. We can't discuss that. But when it comes to an Indian, <laughs> they don't mind putting them in jail. So I think the bottom line is uh, so the media or somebody got to come out and say what happened. Because you can't have natives and their language, can't have Indians being bullied in school. And then they fight back, and then they're labeled as ter ter terrorists. 
I mean, come on, you can't have that. Oh, Frederick, then. There we come. Bye-bye, country.